So cardiovascular disease is a term that doctors often use to uh, really talk about your risk of having a heart attack or a stroke. It's actually due to a progressive uh, furring up of the arteries with fatty deposits. This is known as atherosclerosis. In its early stages, most uh, patients would be blissfully unaware of any symptoms, but as it progresses, um, it can cause symptoms such as uh, angina if it involves uh, the heart uh, and in really severe cases can lead to heart attacks uh, and even strokes. We know that uh, cardiovascular disease is a uh, leading cause of uh, dying prematurely uh, but thankfully there are lots of things that we can do to uh, reduce the risk uh, and uh, the major risk factors of cardiovascular disease are uh, smoking and uh, smoking cessation, quitting smoking is one of the most important things you can do to reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease. High, having high blood pressure and high cholesterol also increase your risk uh, and unfortunately uh, most uh, of us would not be aware of having these risk factors so it's important to get those checked out from time to time uh, by your doctor. Uh, being inactive and overweight uh, can also increase your risk of things like having high blood pressure and your risk of developing diabetes. So clearly there are lots of things that we can do to uh, minimise the risk of suffering from cardiovascular disease. So do yourself a favour if you really want to reduce your risk and you're a smoker, go to your GP. There are lots of uh, things that can be done to help you uh, achieve that. Talk to your GP about leading a healthier lifestyle, about having a healthier diet, about being more active, because these are things that can reduce your risk of having high blood pressure and developing uh, diabetes.